Well, welcome back, guys. Yep, been working on the grill shell. So I've uh, completely uh, changed it up. I used to have a flange on it all the way around. I cut that off. Um, I've cut the center section out of it, redoing the center section on it. So I'm still thinking, you know, I, I'm probably going to fill this fill this up and then put me a spot for this opener, this bottle opener here. And it doesn't have a kind of a cool look like the wings on the, the other, uh, what were they, uh, thermostat or uh, emblems or whatever. Kind of creates a cool little winged uh, emblem. But okay, so... Uh, let me get you over here and uh, kind of show you what I, what I did to get to this point. And then we'll just go from there. All right, you can see it's got a pretty good contour there. Yeah, these are uh, about an inch. I'm thinking that these bands are about an inch and a quarter. I kept forgetting now. I'm messing with them all day and I can't even remember. But it's got a it's got a decent got a decent look to it. So yeah, gonna fill these holes in. You know, and I've got to uh, heat this up and bring this over. But I've maintained a inch and a half clearance up through there. So, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to show you guys how I got to this point. And then uh, we'll catch you in a little bit. center of the grill shell back in, you know, got a better chance of having it level. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to connect this to the horns on this frame.
right, so I've got a layout. Just so happens that this blue tape is a close runner up to these uh, barrel bands. So I was able to, uh, you know, kiss it right there on that bottom. Same side there, and then just, you know, capped it about like that all the way up, which I ended up with that top one. And these are all pretty, pretty well laid out uh, level. So uh, I'm going to work with that. What I'll end up doing now that I've got this kind of set up is I'll take that blue tape off right there on the bottom and then I'll set this inside and put it in. You know, I'm going to find a happy spot for it. And then so on and so on and so on all the way up till I get to the top which it's sloping, so I've got a little bit of creativity to work with there to get it right, so. Oh yeah, got the big fellow over there standing and watch for me. Yep. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna get going on that. I'll set you guys up. Probably gonna tack weld some of these in place. Alrighty, can you see that bottom one? So I'm kind of hoping that's in the relaxed. That that band is not being pushed or you know. So that's in the relaxed deal, and I'm kind of okay with that. You know what I mean? I'm not forcing it in or out it's just in the relaxed state that that metal's in and like i said i'll just put a tack in the center here looking like I want it to but we'll see how it how it gets when it gets up here I'm liking it so far all right well that's where I finished up with uh Mounting those wine barrel bands. So it's turned out pretty good. Still need to do some work. You know, I've got to finish welding. And then I'm going to, you know, I'll be cutting that stuff even and welding it in. So... I like it a lot better than what I had. It's square, it's level. All the points look really good right now. So, okay, well, let me uh, talk about a couple other things. This is uh, this is what the old. So I'm changing the grill up for what I had before. So. That kind of gives you what I had now. That shape I've got there now is is so much better. I'm liking it a lot right now. But here, let me show you what else I've got on my mind that I've scrounged up. 
Let's start off with the fun one here first. That is a mixing chamber from a C-130 turbine engine. So, uh, you know, it's a C-130s, they've got four engines. They've got six of these mixing chambers in one engine. So the nozzle would go in here and then you got all the action coming through here hitting the fan blades. Is that an awesome looking? So I'm thinking I can make a air scoop out of that. Yeah, I'm liking it. Let me know what you think. But yeah, like I said, it's out of a three uh, uh, a C one thirty turbine engine. Pretty dope. I'm thinking it's probably uh, some kind of a special metal too. And then this guy right here. What do you think? Maybe a steering wheel. Yeah, this is a pulley out of an air handler. And I'm thinking about taking it and seeing if I can make a steering wheel out of it. It's got a really nice cutout on it. And it's got a hub. So what I'm thinking about doing is maybe cutting this the easy now killer. Thinking about cutting this off right here, which will give me 17 inches across, which that's 17 inches across. That's out of a Willys. Uh, I don't know, Willie's vehicle. I don't know what year it was. Got it off out of a swap meet. So, those are the upcoming things that I'd like to work on. Don't know when I'm going to get to them, but it's just some of the other things that, uh, that I've scrounged up, you know. I like scrounging. I like making car parts out of things that uh, weren't car parts. You can take a look at some of the things I use, like a flush bolt for a door lock. And then like I've used over there, those are uh, door closers off your commercial doors. Uh, you know, like a man door where you uh, open it and it closes behind you. Yeah, that's all the pieces off of the top of the off the top of those closers that I made into a convertible top mechanism. So that's the oh yeah and then this about it think about it it's a console yeah so i repurposed that console from something that you know it was a something i picked up from work it worked out really well had to modify it but it worked out awesome so yeah that's the that's the idea behind these things is uh, repurposing things you know like the wine barrel bands you know it really creates a, a pretty awesome body so all right well i'm gonna end this one today guys and uh, thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe and hey make sure you give me a thumbs up appreciate it catch you on the next one